Hi guys, it's Lisa. I have not uploaded, loaded a video in quite some time. I have been in bed with a migraine for probably, I don't know, seven days now. So I have, the seven days in bed has just been stockpiling of ideas. So I'm gonna make a couple announcements. Um, maybe show a couple uh, things that I have received in those seven days, because you know, seven days in bed, you can still shop online. <laughs> so anyway, the first off is uh, Gina and Billy sent me a board to try out, one of their uh, Archangel art boards. This one is a 12 inch hexagon which is right here, it's an MDF. It is cut out in the back. I just put blue tape on it because I'm gonna be using it in this video, um, just to keep the back nice. But it is cut out so you can hang it whichever way you want. So that's pretty cool. This is a very solid board. Solid board, the edges are so smooth. Um, the resin's gonna run right over them, even if you use acrylics. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is a great board and, uh, I am going to paint the base color. I think it's going to be black. Um, but you don't have to prime, um, MDF board. So I'm not doing it to prime the board. I'm just doing it because I want the background to be black. So... Uh, if you go to archangelartstudio.com, you will, they'll have their prices and stuff. They have rounds, they got squares, rectangles, octagons, hexagons. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Billy and Gina, for sending this to me. And uh, you can also email them at archangelartstudios at gmail.com to ask more about their, their boards. So, that is that. I also super excited. I got my very first uh, company sponsor gift in the mail. And as you guys all already know, I am just amazed by these colors. So, Leslie over at Color Art, she sent me, I only had six of the Galaxy pigments. I got three of them over here because I'm going to be using them. But I only had six, no I'm sorry, I only had seven of the, of the 14. So she sent me the other seven which are the Wild Coral, hang on here, I don't know how close I can get you, but this is just a box of pure yumminess. These are the three that I'm going to be using in today's video. The Amaryllis, which I've already showed you guys how amazing that is. See that? It's so shimmery. It looks like glitter, don't it? Well, it's not glitter. It is mica. There is no glitter in this thing, in any of these. It's amazing. I can't even, there it goes. It's so shimmery that my camera won't even focus. All right, so I'm going to be using that one today. The Indian Spice, I have not used yet. This is one of the new ones she sent me. Look at that. Oh, it's amazing. And then another new one that she sent me. I think I'm going to go through all of them, but in my next videos, as I use them, I'll go through them. 
This is sea foam. Come on, there it goes. So pretty. And I'm going to be using this in the video too. So I've got the purple sapphire. Actually, that's not one of the galaxies. Let's just go through the galaxies. Here's my new galaxies, the ones that I just showed you, plus a morning glory. This one is pink mink. Again, no glitter, just mica, just huge flakes of mica. Um, and then the other two, we've got Celestial Sky and Wild Coral. And these are all from Color Art, Resin Art. Um, I'm thinking by the way this jar looks that this might be a tint, but it's Azure Mist. Oh, she sent me that. Oh my God, look at that. Greens blues. That is amazing. And another good thing about Leslie's company is she is a uh, tree hugger. She, everything, all of her products are totally green. This is Mystic Primrose. Wow. So she is a green girl for sure. Um, I got the ginger bloom, purple sapphire, wow, alright so these are I love the way her bottles are too because when you store them instead of storing them like this with just the name on them you can actually store them like this she's got the name on the back too so you can see the color also so that's how I store them because then I can like just look oh I like that color okay it's ginger bloom this is a genius way so yeah when I store them in my drawers now that I have two drawers full of resin art stuff <laughs> okay so that is that thank you so much Leslie and you guys all of her information will be in the description um, for all of her pigments and stuff so that's awesome so go visit um, colorart.com and then you can click on she's got stuff that you can uh, she does acrylics um, I believe she actually started out with the primary elements, which is something that can mix in with, you know, for like acrylic paint. And uh, I have not tried them out yet, but I will be. Um, so yeah, go visit her. She's got all kinds of different products. Okay, so that is that. Ugh, these colors, I just can't. Beautiful. Witchcraft, Leslie. Um, what else did I want to share with you guys real quick before we get going? Oh, just a little pro tip. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I left this on the side just to be able to show you. When your resin gets really low, and instead of just leaving your bottle upside down and trying to get everything you can, because it's so expensive, you don't want to miss anything. So I don't know if you know this or not, but if you cut your bottle then you can scrape out every last drop and you're not wasting any resin that is stuck to the sides or whatever as you're trying to pour it out. So that's that. Uh, what else? Um, oh, I found a super cool little serving tray. Of course, it's 
a cheapo because it came from the dollar store okay so it is it is really cheap so you, you wouldn't use it for like your food or anything but like a tray to set stuff on your counter or whatever um, I mean I will be making it stronger with resin and I'm gonna put like a bead of hot glue or something on this side and on the back and that'll make it a little bit stronger also so uh, that's going to be a upcoming video so yeah there was only two there otherwise I would have got them both cut but for a buck really super cool um, mm -mm. oh another upcoming video I'm gonna do some some molds and I just got this new casting resin that I'm going to try it is called clear cast 7000 um, it's a one-to-one -one ratio so on my next mold I'm going to try this and I got some really cute little uh, trinket trays with lids so I'm gonna do that uh, it's an upcoming project uh, what else have I ordered since I've been down and out in my bed? Um, what else? What else? Oh, these are the these are the trinket trays that I got. But yeah, they have um, they have lids on them too. I keep them in baggy all the time because I have. A husky and it's so different with a husky I mean a lot of people have like dog hair right well if you own a husky you take dog hair to the next level especially in the spring and early summer months because they are blowing that coat and it's just ridiculous they are not allowed in my studio, primarily for health reasons. Secondarily, because nobody wants husky hair all over. I bring enough in just on my clothes, so. Um, what else, what else? All right, well, I guess we can get into it with the colors that I'm using. I just showed you a couple. Already, I'm going to use uh, Seafoam Galaxy um, Galaxy Diamond Pigment. I'm going to use Aquamarine Resin Art. I'm going to use the Galaxy Diamond Pigment Indian Spice, Galaxy Diamond Pigment Amaryllis, and for my matte colors, I'm going to use Lorez Epoxy Paste. Cool Mint and Lorez Epoxy Paste Sassy Red. One of my favorite reds. It's, it's a pretty true red. Um, the Amaryllis has got, it's, it's pretty red when you put it down, um, but it's got like a kind of like a violet purple tinge to it, but I, I think that they're going to work well together. Um, also, I am out of stone coat, which is fine. I'll think of something else, but it all dried up, so I'm not going to use their base tints anymore. Um, so I got DecoArt Americana uh, Satin Enamels, which I have done a, um, a video using this and did uh, came out great it created or helped create some cells and stuff and especially if you use some pastes in your work too between this and a couple pastes uh, it works pretty much like the stone coat so there's that all right so let me get this set up I was gonna paint the board before I showed you but I wanted to show you guys how smooth, I mean, this thing is a dream. 
he really takes a lot of time on these sides and stuff. So go visit them for boards. Go visit Color Art for all of your color needs. You have your your mats, your sparkles, your super sparkles, your super duper 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 sparkles. And I'm sure she's going to come up with a super duper 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 diddly do sparkle because that's what she does. And she's also got the acrylic stuff. She's also got watercolors. Um, so yeah, go visit her and uh, order up some colors. Put some color in your life. All right, guys, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this board, but I will come back when I have it all painted and um, dry. All right, bye. Okay, guys, right now I'm just doing, I, um, I painted the backboard a flat black, and now I'm putting it's very tedious, so I didn't want to show you all of it, but I'm just putting some gold leaf on it on um, these are all just hot glue guns. So I'm going to, this will be the gold and then I'm putting the red on these. I'll show you a couple of them, but like I said, I didn't want to bore you. So yeah, it's super boring, but the end result's pretty cool. I just use a regular glue gun, uh, I put a design in it, um, and then I got little dots. So right now I'm just doing the, <clears throat> the little dots, and I just lay it across and I hit the tops first just to make sure that that stays. And then I just go around the sides. Some of the sides don't fully get covered, but what doesn't, then you can go back in and redo it. Now this gold leaf is like so fly away that you can barely talk while you're doing it because if you breathe then it flies away you just keeps pressing it um, the glue is not hot but the gold leaf sticks to it and nothing else I mean a few pieces you know little little pieces you gotta get rid of But you can take like an airbrush or a hair dryer or something and blow the little pieces out. Uh, you might not have even seen that, what I was doing, because I think I just zoomed you in on these two. Ugh. All right. Now you'll see. kind of want to just run your finger around them so that it sticks onto every piece. And this is just colored gold leaf. I don't know what else to call it. Colored leafing, I guess. I call it gold leaf, even though it's not gold. <laughs> colored leafing. That I just got on Amazon. The link should be in my description. If not, I'll have to remember to put it in there. 
This side is missing a little bit, so you just want to go back over it because it will also stick to itself too. So that's it guys. Then you just take like a stiffer brush and get like the bigger pieces off. And then you take um, like a blow dryer or something. I'm going to use a bigger brush over my garbage and just kind of like get a little bit more off. dogs barking out there. All right. So I will be taking like a little piece of tape and then if you go like a little piece of tape then you can get the rest of the little pieces off so I'll be cleaning that up. But yeah that's how it goes. So I'll be back shortly. Okay I'm back. I cleaned this off so now, I mean, there's a little bit of sparkle in there, but you're not going to see it after I'm done. So we're going to do the color layer now. Uh, let me put it up here. Zoom in just a bit. Okay. So we got our Sassy Red from Lorez. We got Seafoam um, Diamond Galaxy. And that is mixed with a little bit of the Teal Magnolia Diamond Galaxy. I just wanted it a little bit darker. We got our mint from Lorez. It's a matte color. We got our Indian spice, which is beautiful. Beautiful, like a dark goldish. We have our amaryllis from the diamond gal this light is killing me from the diamond galaxy I got a little bit of clear here and I just mixed some gold glitter in it um, and then we have our resin with our uh, deco art satin enamel so I'm gonna lay some of this down here I'm going to spread some of this out um, I'm going to put a little clear here along this barrier type thing 
and a little bit of this glittery clear going through it. So it's going to be pretty hard getting like all the black and stuff in where it's supposed to go, but I'm going to do this, the easy part first. I'm just taking my hand here. The um, resin I'm using today is Stone Coat Countertop Resin. It has a pretty long working time. Well, this board, this is the Archangel Art Studio board, and it's uh, the resin's going over the sides really nicely. So this is going to be kind of hard here. I guess I didn't think that through, right? I should have this board up on something. I just realized I did not. Hang on a minute, guys. A little strainer that'll work. Just put it under it. Actually, you know what I'm going to use? My lazy Susan. Now I gotta make sure that you guys are still in focus. And as I suspected, it moved. Build my pigments. Damn it. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna do a rescue mission. Ugh. paper instead of the tray that I'm supposed to have them on and when I moved it uh, darn it
All right, guys. I would have put you on pause, but I didn't think I had time. All right. Well, I have saved what I can save. Damn it. Are you kidding me right now? All right. So this is my first video after six days of. Not being functional. And it's actually showing. It's like I'm a three year old. All right, what else? Okay, I got crap all over my legs here. All right. Okay, glad I got good work time, right? All right, so I'm just going to back this stuff up. Right to the edge of the little glue design I got. And then once the resin is there, it will self. Um, self level. some in this little hole here. probably going to put you on pause for when I'm doing this because it's going to take a long time to be so precise. And then I'll bring you back.
Okay. That was kind of an ordeal, huh? All right. All right, so that took a long time. I spread it in there, but I did use this little silicone brush and it got like in the corners, so it was pretty cool. So it worked good. Except for that spot. So, all right. So now I'm gonna lay my colors. Um, I got way too much resin for this board. Um, I think we're going to go through the middle. So I'm going to start off my board. Up like that and off. Seafoam and Teal Magnolia mix. And then the Resin Art Aquamarine. I know the background is black already, but I'm just going to add a little bit more black right here. Let me think, let me think. I'm going to blow it. Swipe. What am I going to do? Oh, let me get my reds down. Silver Res Sassy Red. around that in the amaryllis. Put some of 
black down right here. I forgot the Indian spice. Okay. I'm not gonna put a whole lot down here because I got that gold leaf. just want to get these colors to where they're you know they kind of join the piece a little bit so they're not so separated warm this up a bit, see what I can get it to do. So watch your ears. And pop the bubbles first. Nice and warm. Can't blow it too hard so I don't want to cover up my gold leaf.
sides are pretty fantastic. of resin left but I really think I'm liking what this is doing mm -hmm. what if I use this little brush here if I could get Just a little bit more down here. Just do like baby swipes. <laughs> So it looks a little bit like more natural. And blends a bit more. of a hard line here. Alright, so I'm going to torch. Get the bubbles out. And then I'm going to embellish just a bit. I like where the paint has gone. I don't think I'm a big fan of that one piece of glitter right in the middle. <laughs> okay. I got a little resin left. Alright. I'll have to do another piece. Um... I have these little stuff on them already. I have these little mirrors. And I think I'm going to put them on. So I'm going to probably hang it like that. To me, not to you guys. I think I will do this with gloves on. These are just little itty bitty mirrors. I think I'm gonna plop it. down in the resin.
gonna put some stones in it too, but I think I'm liking it. And I'll be able to clean these mirrors off once that's set up. Because I don't want any bubbles underneath it. Hmm, what do I have? You know what, I think I'm going to leave it and I'm going to let it dry and uh, if I think it needs like something else afterwards then I will certainly come back and revisit it. But I think I think it's good. I think I like it. I think I like it. But I do have to do another piece. Because <laughs> I got a ton of resin left. Alright, so it's going to be... Probably hung like that. I'm just getting the resin off the underneath. So I can move it. I think I'm just going to move it right on the Lazy Susan as it is. And then I'll take you guys in for a close up. bubble already. I'm going to take my little skewer. Alright. Be right back with a close up, guys. Alright. So here it is. My gold leafing texture lines from the glue gun. And the red dots. Let me go up. I love that the res mint with the color art. Teal and sea foam. It's pretty. And we got the little mirrors. Some good lacing here. I probably could have blowed it a little bit more. Blew it a little bit more? Yeah. Probably could have blew it a little bit more and I would have gotten more, but I didn't want to mess this middle part up because I really think that. Oops, where did it go? Doing some cool stuff. So I'm assuming it's going to be hung like this, but with the hung. Ooh, I kind of like that too. See how it ran over the sides like perfectly. So pretty. So yeah, that's it's a big plus for this board. <coughs> this flows so perfectly over the sides. So, okay guys, there you have it. I might add some stones to it, I don't know. But right now I'm going to leave it alone and let it do what it's going to do. <coughs> so, um, I'll do like a later video of it dry 
and if I end up doing something else with it, I will uh, come back to it. So, adios, amigos. Okay, guys, so here's the finished piece. It is all cured. Oh, do you see my phone in the mirrors? <sighs> you can't see me. I'm still in my PJs. It's a PJ day. So, oops. I really love this mint and the aquamarine together. And then I finished the back. I haven't signed it or anything. Actually, I don't think it's all the way dry. No, it's not. But I just painted the back to be nice and clean. And then I'll just sign it on the back there. But uh, these boards were really great to work with. And I would like to thank Billy and Gina again. For sending me one, I will definitely be ordering more. Faux show. Alright, so there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys.